Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have two matrix spaces, x d and y d dash. We have a function f from x to y. The given thing is function f is continuous. We have to find one example here such that g is open in x, but its image f of g is not open in y. This thing we have to prove. Okay. So let me show here. Suppose this is matrix space X D, and this is another matrix space for the given Y D dash. We have a function f from X to Y. So given that function f is continuous, getting. So we have seen one result. That result is if function f is continuous and if G is any open subset of Y, then its inverse image. f inverse g is open subset of x so this result we have already seen in our previous video so it is exactly opposite to that what they are saying they are saying g is open subset of x so here in this example we have a g which is subset of x getting and we have to prove that f of g its image we have to prove in this case we have arrow like this but here we have arrow like this So here G is open subset of X. Then we have to prove that f of G need not be open. Okay, it is not open in Y D S. So this thing we have to prove by giving one example, right? Giving one example. They are asking the same. Give one example to show this one. Okay. So let us find that example. So I will uh, go with. Uh, let me write here. So let. So we want two matrix spaces. So I am taking X is equal to R. so that means my domain is r and codomain that means y that is also r but see what will i do i will take here with discrete matrix d okay or you can say d1 and codomain with usual matrix d okay so that means uh, see here domain let me show here so in this example our domain is r and codomain is also r but here the distance or the matrix is d1 which is a discrete matrix and in codomain we have a d which is a usual matrix usual means d of x y is equal to mod x minus y and discrete means it it takes only two values 0 and 1 if points are same distance is 0 and points are different distance is 1 right so let us go further hmm. so after that see after that what we want we want a function getting we want a function from x to y actually we want a continuous function let us talk about that we define we define f from r r d uh, sorry r d1 to r d So domain is discrete matrix, okay, with discrete matrix, and here the usual matrix. As so, I'm defining f as f of x is equal to x. So you know that it's an identity map. Uh, getting identity map, we have f of x is equal to x. So now we have to prove that at f is continuous, that function must be continuous. So let us prove f is continuous. See, first we will prove that. f is continuous f is continuous so we are going to prove this function f is continuous right so how to prove the function is continuous there are several ways we have epsilon delta definition right we have sequential criteria as well as just now i told you so this is x this is y if you have any open set in codomain and if its inverse image f inverse g is open in domain then also we say the function f is continuous right so let us uh, use the same result to prove the function f is continuous so let us take one open subset of y that means codomain let g subset of r so here i am talking about codomain okay codomain b and open set so i have taken one open subset of r from codomain getting so let me show in this diagram so this is domain and this is codomain so i have taken one open set g so let us take its inverse image so if you take its inverse image what will you get you will get 
subset. So therefore, F inverse G, its inverse image will be subset of domain. So it is R domain. But see, in domain, we have taken a discrete matrix and we know that in a discrete matrix space, every set is both open and closed. Okay, let me write all these things here. See, but let me write here, but in a discrete matrix space, in a discrete matrix space, every set is both open and close. Every set is both open and close. So here we have one F inverse G, which is subset of R in a discrete matrix. So therefore it is also open. So therefore F inverse G is open in RD1. Okay. So F inverse G is open in domain. So let me show here. So here we have got F inverse G, which is open in domain since we have a discrete matrix there. So we had taken any open set in codomain. We got its inverse image, which is also open. So therefore we can declare F is a continuous function. Therefore F is a continuous function. Okay. So yes, in this way, we prove the function F is continuous. Okay. So let, let us talk about its main part now. So we want one open set G, which is open in domain. But f of g, its image set is not open, is uh, does not imply that means f of g is not open in codomain. Okay, so let I'm going to take let g is equal to singleton x. Okay, g is equal to singleton x. I'm taking. So uh, see, we have to prove first it is open in domain. But just now we have written in a discrete matrix space every set is both open and closed. So therefore g is open in domain. So let me write star then so it is subset of r i am saying domain so actually our domain and codomain are same so that's why i'm mentioning everywhere which set i have taken from domain and which is in codomain so then uh, from star from star let me show in the diagram again so this is our domain r and codomain which is also r so i'm taking one open set g okay i'm taking one uh, set G, which is a singleton X. Let, let me show. Uh, this is a singleton X, getting singleton X. That means having only one element G. So uh, it is in domain, but domain is a discrete matrix space. And we have already studied in a discrete matrix space, every set is both open and closed. So therefore it is open in domain. So from star G is open set in R D1. So this part we have completed G is open set in X. Now does not imply F of G is an open subset of Y. That means we have to prove that F of G is not open subset of Y. Let us find then F of G. Let us find F of G. That means F of singleton X. Get it? But see our F is identity map. So F of X is equal to X. So F of singleton X is equal to singleton X. Right? So we have to prove that it is not open set in why we have to prove its image is same again singleton x we have to prove that it is not open in r it is not open in codomain right so when we say set is open let us talk about when we say set is open we, if you have a set like this so when we say it is open if you take any point it is possible to find ball around it which entirely lies inside a set here we have to prove it is not open that means we have to prove that if you draw any ball around it, suppose X is here, it is not open. That means if you draw any ball around it, it is going outside the set. So let us do that. Let me remove this one. Okay. For any R greater than zero. So let us find a ball around X. There is only one point X, so ball around X. Okay. Uh, with radius R. So we are talking about usual distance. So that's why ball around X uh, with radius R will be interval X minus R X plus R. So let me show in the diagram again. So singleton X we have, I'm drawing a ball around it. So we will have here X minus R here. We have X plus R, which is obviously a not subset of singleton X. So it is not a subset of singleton X. Okay. So therefore it is not open. So therefore, and it is true for every R greater than zero. No? 
so therefore sing g means singleton x is not open in rd so that means we got one open subset of x but f of g is not open subset of y that means codomain so we got this example so in this way we prove this one hence the result okay hence the result so here we have got a g which is open in domain but uh, see f of g f of g that means again singleton x which is not open in codomain so hence the result okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you